first interviewed you, our focus was music, and that's where your career you said that. I know, but oh, there's so many unexpected things that happen, which is great. Um, can you share which project or which role or which line made you confirm to yourself that ah, I can be an actor? May isang eksena na nagawa namin ni Alexa sa Pirapira sa Paraiso. And uh, as many people know, Pirapira sa Paraiso is a heavy drama. Crime drama, a mystery, ganyan. And medyo na-challenge po talaga ako. Pero may isang eksena na talagang naramdaman ko talaga na, oh, I can, kaya ko talaga mag-actor. Kaya ko talaga, kaya ko talaga ito. Kasi minsan po nararamdaman ko na nahihirapan ako sa lines, nabubulol ako, and or hindi maganda yung eksena kasi yung pag uh, bitaw ko ng linya hindi maganda but nung nagawa ko yung eksena na yan nasabi ko sa sarili ko ah kayang kaya ko naman uh, I, I can't really say it but yes meron <laughs> now with the likes of Daniel Padilla, Joshua Garcia, Donnie Pangilinan etc and how does it feel na mapabilang sa echelon ng mga kapamilya heartthrobs uh, do you feel pressure ba na mapabilang sa kanila, etc. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so, I wouldn't say na I, I'm, for, for me, I wouldn't say that I'm on the level of Nori Pangilin and I'm on the level of Daniel Padilla uh, si na um, Colo Pascual. I wouldn't say I'm there yet. But sa akin naman po, I'm, I don't, I, yes, of course, noong una na I felt na pre, medyo pressured because, of course, I'm, I'm being compared to uh, many of the male artists out there right now and for me naman po it's uh let's see for me for me naman i am working on myself naman of course uh, as a person and as uh, physically then i've been doing i've been doing i've been hitting the gym and of course acting wise i want to be on that same level and pressure wise i think i'll be fine about in the future but we'll see <laughs> And last question, also, uh, do you have any advice? Siyempre, ang daming umiidolo sa ngayon na, ano, especially mga Gen Z. So, yeah, uh, meron ka bang advice sa nila uh, in life or those who want to follow your footsteps, etc.? Yeah, I would say ngayon, sa mga Gen Z, hmm, I guess the biggest, the biggest uh, lesson I can give them right now is accountability maging accountable ka sa mga actions mo. Kasi madali ngayon na, ano eh, you can just say whatever online. Tapos, wala, wala kang makukuha ang physical na consequence. Pero, I would have to say na, meron, meron talagang consequence yung mga sinasabi mo online, mga sinasabi mo sa isang tao. Kasi we, we tend to forget that yung liberty of saying whatever we want to say, uh, there could be re repercussions. So, that's my biggest advice. Always be careful with what you see online, what you say to other people, and just try to be nice. 